This is a video detailing a flatbed built for 84 Silverado. Obviously applies to any truck. Very make this video, there's not many out there for detailed videos at least. The people building them, what they did, what they do different and stuff. So I'd like to explain and share my thoughts. But the whole outside of quarter inch cold rolled steel. Cold rolled is nice, kind of defined because there's no mill scale or anything. When I originally built it, my sheets were 57 by 57. So I cut them all. This is all just one sheet. You know, there's no cutouts or anything. Ripped it down, tacked it up there, welded it. Then I came back with grinder, cut out my boxes. Got an accordion hinge off eBay or Amazon or whatever. Stainless. Outside's quarter, inside's about an eighth inch. Turned out pretty good. And the whole frame is built out two by one, about three sixteenths, C channel. The main thing is, put that on there. They had this scab on here. I had a flatbed on it. And the nice thing with doing it this way is, once you get it pretty close, you can slide it forward and line it up. You can worry about turning your boxes you made or your gas tank. Probably pull wheels off when you take it on and put it off, but or just set it down, depending on what you're sitting down with. Didn't build a headache rack for it yet. Top's all quarter inch as well. Didn't put that many uh, runners in there, we're gonna call them, because this stuff, you know, it's pretty, it won't flex at all. And if it does, that minor amount, you won't notice. Cut out for the brake lights. You will find a whole bunch of one by a quarter flat stock locally thin reason so recess the fuel cap main thing I want to be flush with the truck which it came out pretty close again my receiver bolted to the frame and everything was welded with Hobart 110 welder this one can run gas, but for this whole project, I just ran off 30,000 flux core wire. You can buy a 11 pound spool off eBay for about 30 bucks, probably less than that, from Welding City, where it's pretty good wire. But once you uh, knock your slag off and wire wheel and grind it down, it comes out completely flush. There's no issues with it whatsoever. Pinholes are probably clean it up. This whole project cost about $1,700. All in, everything, lights, everything. But the main thing is to cut all this stuff. Now that's a big issue. I went and bought this uh, plasma cutter. Amazon, $300, works pretty good, it's two touring. You have a decent compressor, grand plan, we get a plasma cutter. But, to cut this quarter inch, Rip it down. Milwaukee makes this metal circular saw. It's about $160. You buy it on eBay, brand new. Five and three eighths blade. Nice thing is no sparks. Throws a lot of chips, but I mean, that's gonna happen. But the cut it comes out with is definitely, I'd say, better than a shear. It's really hard to beat that. Boxes aren't completely sealed. I'm gonna wait to put that piece in until I get this all tacked and welded in. So I got access to it. Now, if I was to use it again, I would take the C channel, flip it on the inside, and then put a piece on top of the plate for my tie downs. Original plan was to take the quarter inch by one and put it on the outside, tack it all down here. I think once you start tying stuff down, it's gonna you know, chip the paint. If it's a farm truck or you know whatever, it won't be a big issue, but something to think about. The inside didn't do uh, fenders. It's hard. They're pretty expensive to buy them, and trying to roll a piece like that would be a pain in the ass. About knocking my teeth out putting this piece in. That and it would take a long. The truck, the cab of the truck would probably completely rust before this stuff rusts through. You know, quarter inch. 
the main thing if you're trying to find steel look on facebook a lot of places still fall off or even your metal supplier still sell fall off pieces you know a lot cheaper i recommend buying a full stick a lot of places you buy it 20 foot stick they'll cut it down in 10 foot sections that we can throw it back your truck and bring it home then cut it up it's a lot cheaper doing it that way you probably won't find cold rolls if you do good luck but i got pretty lucky on this all the all this i found that on facebook See, there's a full size sheet getting ready to rip down. Then the latches, that's a big thing for me, you know, trying to figure out how the hell I'm gonna do a latch. Well, you can buy this latch, two of them, like 20, 30 bucks with locks. I use a plasma cutter. You could just use a uh, angle grinder to cut that out. You don't have to spend money on that. Took the inside. Put that quarter by one, about a whole bunch of that stuff. And then whenever it goes up against there, hits that backside perfect. Yeah, as it wears out, I'll probably tack well or figure something else out. Maybe replace the latch or something. But the accordion file worked out really good for this. Probably gonna scuff it up when I paint everything. Flux core, which it would look. You know, I don't mind spending money on gas if you want to trim your thin stuff or, you know, gas is expensive, all stuff is expensive. You can build this whole thing with a 110 uh, Humber Freight Wall if you really wanted to, probably time out on you. And this damn stuff, I got it. Uh, the seat chain wasn't completely straight. You look down there, it's got a little bow to it. So you're gonna cut a piece, put it in there, you'll never know. Then for the top, instead of doing wood or tread plate, tread plate four by eight sheet, three sixteens. It's four hundred and eighty dollars right now. The you know, steel prices just jumped like crazy. So my plan is to raptor line it. Scuff it up, primer it, then probably just raptor liner. Nice raptor liners you can uh tin it. So original plan, the final plan is place the fenders. It's a 6 2 truck, gonna do a 6 5 manifold with turbo, low boost. Paint all one color, you know. They look pretty slick. Then the lights. You see a lot of the trailer lights they sell. Well, cut out the pieces for them, but by the time again, it looks kind of cheap, you know. Really, I like cut out, reason about the plastic cutter, so cut that oval. You can use a hole saw if you want to, but they're kind of expensive. This was original plan, but now I think I'm just gonna stack two of these up. I got some amber ones floating around here, no idea where they went. Put that on there. And these lights. These three quarter inch button lights. If you're gonna buy them, you know, shop around Amazon, eBay. Go to Royal Kingdom, about four bucks a piece. Like, I think I got almost 30 of them. Maybe like 20. For about 20 bucks off Amazon Prime. This will be part one. Continue watching, like, comment, subscribe for more content like this. My plan is to quit my day job and just make YouTube videos. Thank you.